Uh, what's up? I don't really feel in the mood that much right now to talk that much. But I was just thinking about that is something that I've really been doing lately is just shutting up and not talking a lot. I think it's because I'm naturally someone who just talks a lot. And in terms of where I'm at in my life right now, shutting up and working has been the best change in my demeanor slash life ever. Shutting up has been really, really important. I'm, I think that I post a lot of shit on this channel just about like, do this and blah, 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 and like all this stuff. And it's all just stuff like that I myself have like learned the hard way or just stuff that I'm going through in just terms of like how I'm growing up and you know, everything that I say, but also anything that anyone says is just like a reflection of what you've gone through and like what your life is like. So when I, um, so when I'm doing, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just have to just shut the fuck up. I'm just learning how to shut the fuck up. I talk to you guys like on my YouTube channel. I share more information and detail than I do with anybody these days um, because not everyone wants to hear what I have to say, not in like a boohoo way, just in terms of like a, people have their life, they're not that fucking concerned with you, but also I'm not getting ahead in life because I'm telling you about this and that. I'm just shutting, I'm, I'm, this is me coming to the epiphany, it seems like, of just, it doesn't matter, just work harder. Because you have goals, and talking with people about your goals doesn't get you there. Ugh, it's such like, it's so much easier to just work than it is to talk to the people about working. I know that probably sounds weird and also you might not take my work seriously because I am full-time social media and I have a clothing brand and I'm a full-time model and I know that not everyone takes that seriously but just in terms of what I've been doing just shutting up and stop getting myself concerned with other people's life and like what everyone else is working on I just have gotten so much more ahead by not entertaining anybody. And I have no intention on putting my time into areas that aren't directly helping me become a better person or create a better life, which means the life I want for myself. So much of it is just for the birds. I'm not interested in coffee, you know, I'm not interested in catching up over coffee. I'm not interested in your relationship drama. I'm not interested in going out. I'm not interested. I'm not above anybody. I'm not, because I know naturally whenever you talk about that, it just makes you sound like, oh, you think you're so much better. Like, that's really not it. I'm just, I'm so in love with life when I just worry about myself and fuck off that that's just all I want to do now. I don't want to hang out with you at all. I actually have no interest in hanging out with you. I'm interested in, in figuring out how to get to where I want to go and like putting in that work. Like I've read, I'm about to finish my third book in the past like 10 days and I'm doing a lot of other stuff. And first of all, I don't even want to talk to you about what I'm doing because it doesn't help it. 
me telling you that I'm making X, Y, and Z clothes for like this fucking photo shoot and blah, 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 like nothing happens when I just share with you about it. Sharing with you about it is just like high five. Who gives a fuck? I don't know. I finished the book that I read was, I hope this doesn't come off as pretentious as I, I'm, I'm scared it will come off. I'm just really so in love with just working on myself these days and grinding the things that I'm doing that nothing else compares even the slightest. Like, group dinner with my friends sounds so much less desirable than sitting in my bed just reading. It's just because I know doing that, I'm learning a lot. And like that's what I've really been obsessed with is learning but also like taking action. So I've just been taking action during the day and just expanding my mind at night. Like I, I went to Starbucks to go read and you know at noon every day is about when I like start kind of working a lot is because I start uploading a bunch of videos to different platforms. Um, you know repurposing all my videos, all my old TikToks and shit. And I, I wanted to read, but I was just so like, no, Carrington, like stop preparing for stuff, like just do it. So I came here and I'm filming videos. This is my third YouTube video I filmed. And after this, I'm gonna probably go on live and I'm probably gonna, and I gotta upload a video after this and I'm gonna make another t-shirt and I should order some of these skull caps and then I feel so much more peaceful than I've ever felt these days. And it has been just by minding my own business. And when I chose to start minding my own business more, that's when my world kind of came crashing down on me. Like I've been dealing with a lot of shit behind the scenes of just like interpersonal and work and blah, blah, blah that have been not fun to deal with at all. Not great at all. Like, you know, that I've really took a toll on me, but at the same time, that is me saying, okay, I'm gonna fuck off and do this. Well, life is telling me, okay, well, life was just bringing things into my life that weren't pleasant, but they were serving my purpose of fucking off and doing my thing, and life was telling me, okay, this, this, this happened, like, now what are you gonna do? And I was like, well, I'm just gonna go fuck off and do my thing. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. And yeah, but like I've, I've been saying a lot recently because that's been a big lesson that I've been learning. Um, you know, a lot of you probably already learned this lesson, but. Um, it gets harder before it gets easier. Like if you are making a decision that's going to make your life better, more ease in your life, going to improve your life then their life always puts hell in the way of that. And, but once you get through that, you do reach the place you want to be and it makes it that much more sweet. And it makes real, me really appreciate where I'm at right now. It makes me really appreciate that right now I can just sit here and not have to be going to anyone's party or anything. Oh, it's Halloween today. Um, that's why I'm drinking a big back drink <laughs> because, I'm, uh, um, because I'm treating myself with some sugar. Mm. But yeah, I'm a, I don't know. I've really found my peace lately by leaving people alone. Not having them, like, I'm not saying fuck you to people in my life. I'm just like worrying about myself and it's fun. And I, it, it does make you realize how many things that you do that just distract you from the main quest. Like, it's interesting how many side quests you'll, um, you'll take on so that you don't have to do the main quest. I want to read more game theory. Um, yeah, I just want to read so many books these days. I'm, I, so I really don't try to sound annoying. I'm just letting you guys into my, my, my mind right now. I'm worried about getting money. 
I'm not worried about it. I'm focused on getting money, um, building some businesses for myself, and walking the path I'm already walking with social media, uploading a bunch of YouTube videos, and reading a lot. That's, you know, 22 years. I'm newly turned 22, and that's how my priorities have shifted as, um, you know, from someone at my age. Uh, I'm completely sober still. I don't, I don't go out. I, I, don't, I, I didn't go to rehab, but I don't have a problem. I just stopped. Um, wasn't a great use of my time. I'm very sensitive about what I do with my time these days. That doesn't mean I won't sleep in because that's just making me feel good and I appreciate that and that is letting me put more work in during the day by taking care of myself. But it does keep me from going to fucking laser tag for fucking Joe Schmo's birthday. Like, who gives a fuck? Joe Schmo don't give a fuck about you. I'm like... Like, what do I even want to do right now? I need to upload more videos after this video. Um, I got a fitting tomorrow for my photo shoot on Thursday. Like, I'm just in love with life right now. Worrying about myself makes me love life so much. And it, it anyone who loves you who sees you doing your thing and being happy and then demands more of your time because you're not giving other people attention, those people aren't your friends. Those people are not your friends. My friends know that I'm fucking off and doing my thing and it's cool. And if people think that I'm being a, a, a worse friend by choosing myself, then so be it. I'm just, it's, it's time to worry about me in my life, you know? That's how I feel. Have you been worrying about you? How could you worry about you to make yourself happier? How could you choose yourself? How could you choose yourself in a lot of different ways? Does choosing yourself mean breaking up with a negative relationship you're in? Does it mean just taking the day off? Does it mean finishing your favorite show? Does it mean going to the gym for the first day? Does it mean not going to certain events? Does it mean not entertaining people that you don't really align with? How can you choose yourself today? That's a message I like to, I think I'm really starting to um, feel drawn to. Just choosing yourself. I feel strongly about that. kind of where I'm at right now, but yeah, choosing myself, I'm getting a little tired, which is interesting because I've been having a lot of coffee, but maybe I just don't have it. my social battery is kind of down and just take social battery, but yeah, it's my clothes, um, and yeah, let me, oh, let me show you my pants, did I show you already? These are my pants. This is my hat I made all by myself. Make everything alone with markers. These are badass. Oh. I think about selling certain one-on-one -on -one items I have, but I'm like, this is just more fun to me to have. You know, unless I get compensated fairly for it. But um, yeah, I'm just choosing choose yourself guys 
Choose yourself. Ignore the drama. Ignore the bull honky. It's for the birds. Put get yourself more ahead in life. You're not you're not where you want to be right now. You might be where you want to be, but you might be be able to do a lot more than you could be doing. Everything I say is just echoes of how I feel internally. Keep that in mind when I say anything. You know, I'm telling you this because I feel this way. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel. It's maybe how you feel. But if you can do more and you want to do more, do more. And it feels better. The more work doesn't feel like work. It's fun. Work feels like play. I love you guys.